AI should never be used by journalists in place of truth or realism. There may be no returning the AI genie to the bottle. If we start to push out AI-generated content that changes the narrative of a story, we are no better than any bad actors out there. Greetings, I'm Alex Golden. I'm the Senior Director for the Product Team at NBC News Group, and welcome to NBCU Academy. In terms of defining artificial intelligence, when used properly, it is the automation of human intelligence. It should make life easier for things that currently take a lot of manual activity to do. We've been involved with artificial intelligence and machine learning for a good number of years. We started off with something as simple as transcriptions. People in there transcribing in a room off of video. We thought that we could also cut costs by getting an AI solution that was more self-serve. They put it into a system as an MP3, get it back, it's fully transcribed. The other side of that's capturing the data of pictures, picture text, Biden at the podium, Trump with a red hat. Those are things that currently would be manually logged. The thing that always comes up is whether AI is a quote-unquote replacement technology. We don't see it that way. We see it as an assistance technology. Our charter for using AI as a company is to have it help and improve workflows and where it fits the use case, replace workflows but not replace people. It should always have that human element of being monitored, being attached to some amount of human interaction or workflow so that we make sure it's being used the right way. The big elephant in the room becomes generative AI, and obviously that's the huge buzz on the block. So, how can I help? Generative AI is AI that can create text, images, and media from human commands. Go ask it to do something, and then it'll do it. You can talk to it. From fake pictures of Donald Trump getting arrested, to a fake video of President Biden instituting a military draft. If we use something on air that was faked, that's a huge potential risk, of course. But the other risk is if somebody takes our content out there in the public space and changes it, what if somebody were to take Jim Cramer's words buy, buy, buy. and change them around? Sell, sell, sell. That could affect markets. There's actual real world ramifications. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. A lot of our editorial teams are using very time-consuming activities to be able to check for fake content. What AI can do is quicken the process. We want to use fire to fight fire. Employ AI as the best way to suss out the AI being used by bad actors. There probably is more upside on how journalists can actually use it, whether it's to take large quantities of text and summarize, to generate conclusions based on meetings, upscale images. These are all things that I think journalists are starting to tackle now as a way to have this AI improve the work that they do. Don't use AI in a vacuum. Make sure that you have brought up this attempt to use AI to your own team leadership. Don't let AI do the work for you in such a way that you then become the self-perpetuating replacement of your own job. This is serious breaking news, but a little behind the scenes, a little, a little flavor. I'm with one of the most legitimate correspondents on Earth. Have fun and experiment with what is out there. It could be fun to play with, for sure. AI is not only being used to clone actors' faces and voices, it's also being deployed to do CGI and visual effects faster and easier than ever before. Should journalists be afraid of AI? No. But should they be cautious about it? Absolutely. We still believe that journalism is done by journalists, but if we're going to use AI, we still need to maintain the editorial best standards and best practices. Those don't go away. AI cannot be used as a shortcut. It's the exciting new stuff that we're working on that excites me the most. I'm Alex Golden with NBCU Academy. Thanks for watching.